it's about having your perception cleared because you don't respond to anything directly in the world. You always respond to your perception of, of what you're seeing or your interpretation. So you're not responding really to the images, you're responding to the interpretation of the images. And really, it's important to start to see that the interpretation is not apart from the images. That it's not like you have this, that there actually is this objective world of, of events and circumstances and images. And then there's a filter that you have in your mind. And the, and you, the, the images are gonna, gonna do what they're gonna do and you have to clean the filter. It's actually what we're told and we're shown in the workbook that, that my thoughts are images I have made and that basically um, projection makes perception and what you perceive is, is just a, a, a motion picture of what you believe and what your thoughts are. There, and there is really no filter in between. Um, so basically as long as you have these egoic beliefs and you have attack thoughts, you will perceive a, a world of fragmentation, you will perceive victimization, you can't help but perceive that if that's what you're thinking, if that's what you're believing, that's what you're perceiving. And, and the other thing about it is, you know, we've kind of been raised through, not through quantum physics, but through traditional science to think that the human being is an autonomous creature and we have five senses and that the world is outside of this creature and that the five senses through sight and sound, touch, smell, taste, you know, our five senses let us know. They basically, the brain receives we're told the, the light goes in through the retina and the image gets turned over and then there's brain impulses. We've got it all backwards. We've all been raised with our physiology as if the world's out there and light's coming at us as human beings and things. When actually it's more accurate to think of like the eyes, instead of receptors, they're actually projectors. They're doing what the mind is thinking and believing and, and, the, and the body and the world is, is part of the projection. And so basically, it's, you're just drawing forth witnesses to what you believe and think all the time. And that's why the only solution is in the mind. There, there is no safety to be found on a battleground. There will never be a point when the character in the dream will go, Oh, I finally made it to my Shangri-La, my safe part of my dream, my safe haven.